Hello everybody and welcome to another Sir Toys unboxing. You may hear my youngest upstairs singing his little heart out there, so I do apologise, but we're here to take a quick look at the latest Sir Toys box that has arrived today. Really keen to get this open. I know for a fact there's a couple of really good pieces in there. So let's uh, just cut this open. Haven't been this excited for a Sir Toys box in a while. I love getting the Sir Toys boxes. There's always some amazing figures that I've ordered. But I've been especially excited for this one in particular. Come on. Oh, right. Here we go. Foam, foam, oh. <laughs> like a big kid in a toy shop. <laughs> Excellent. Um, first of all, of course, for the children, we've got some Lego figures. Uh, when the kids are good, rather than me going out and buying treats, we use these bundles. They just love getting the baggies and putting them together. Um, it's a really easy way to do it. Uh, if you go to Sertoy's website, you look over the left hand side of the page, there's a brick section, you can just do random figures, just add randoms. We've got some more bricks, this is kind of like a base. Block world, sounds legit. Uh, what is this? This looks like some sort of spaceship. Boom, boom, probably not Star Wars. Ah, oh, more Star Wars figures. <laughs> There's a grey Chewy. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's some really good ones in here. Ooh. I need to get out more. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I saw them. These are official. Uh, they have these, I think Paul said they had them in the Walmart or something by him. Yeah, these are good. These are like a little official legend figures. Legend, they're pretty bigger than legends, pretty like deluxe. We've got Megatron. Me Grimlock. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What else have we got? Ah! <laughs> Cinna Twin, of course, as part of the oversized version of Abominus. Uh, only size, oversized kind of combiner wars. Was combiner wars, power of the primes, tides return, one of those. Anyway, finally getting that. Uh, so we're just missing one more from that to form our abominus. Oh my goodness. Right, what else we got in here? More bricks. Oh my goodness, Paul. He's gonna absolutely love you. We're gonna make, we've got enough here to build our own Star Wars battle scene. Um, what else, what else, what else? We have got... <laughs> oh, these are funky. Translucent or transclearant, is that what MGO says? Versions of the characters? Ah! Have you seen these? These are like these little rev and go motorbikes. You rev, rum, 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 and the wheel flies out and then you have to catch it back. It comes back to you due to like the way that the wheel spins outwards. They're fun. Uh, the kids are going to absolutely love these. They, can, they go absolutely nuts. They go super fast as well. Uh, right, let's not delve too deep here. I've got this. This is official. This is for Emily and Dave. Uh, old Dave, that is. Uh, from my Patreon. Uh, popped up and I knew that they were after them. So we've ordered one of those in for them. So I hope they really like this. What is this? The Star Series. <laughs> uh, we have got... 
Ah, this is the basics version. Uh, Dino, Dino Core or Dragon something, I think they're called on Toys when they've gone into China. It is basically the Korean series of Dino Core. I've still got to do season three. I haven't forgot. It is on my to-do list. Uh, still got to do that. Uh, but it's all of the same sounds, but they're then done in Chinese as opposed to Korean. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like the basics kind of staction figure version. More Lego. I say Lego, you know what I mean, don't you? Compatible bricks. Minicon. This is the Toy Story oversized Lego. They're definitely bigger than regular Lego figures, aren't they? Although Green Soldier looks to be the same sort of size. We have got ah, some more big ones. We've got Grey Hulk in there, Green Hulk in there, uh, Ben Grimm, and Red Hulk. Everybody needs a Red Hulk. <laughs> this is a Transformers Stroke Pirate fidget spinner? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't expecting that at all. I, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, right, we've got a Prime from that same series as previously mentioned. I will include a link to all of these at the end of the video. This I'm excited for. This is another knockoff uh, by Black Mamba. This is another one to add to our knockoff Devastator. Not the oversized Devastator, this is just the standard knockoff of the Studio Series Devastator. And I believe he now has, I, I want to say Overload. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I would include the name at the bottom of the screen here somewhere. But he's got him on order coming in as well. He's definitely on my want list. I can't wait to build up that KO of the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. We've got some more baggies in the bottom here. This is the secondary figure from the Dino Core. I've got some really big bits in here as well, but I'm trying to save those for last. Uh, Bumblebee. Uh, do you guys want these reviewed? I don't know if anybody's done these already, have they? I'm not sure they're pretty decent. Uh, they're more kind of basic kids toys, but they're still fun, still kind of funky. Three steps, I bet my wife would still mess those up. Don't worry, she won't watch, I don't think. Maybe she will. Mm. <laughs> uh, we've got a build your own Dinobot. This is very kind of Creotastic, isn't it? That is, with a screwdriver in there as well. Teddy will love that. Teddy loves building things at the moment. And we have a secondary build your own Dinobot. Is this a Triceratops as well? I believe so, maybe it's, yeah, I think it's a Triceratops. Uh, Hal Jordan's head. So over that's fallen out somewhere in there. <laughs> or I just get a random Hal Jordan's head. Right, we have got, this is what I was really excited for. Strange friend. This is of course the Beast Wars Transmute. It's done in a much kind of bigger scale. Designed to scale very well with the masterpiece line. It's got the instructions and everything in there, but look at that. Really, really looking forward to that. That is from TransArt, the ones that have just done my big shiny gorilla that I recently reviewed. that to one side. Speaking of a big shiny gorilla, here's his not so shiny counterpart. He is of course their version of the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Uh, I've even got a little advert on the bot there from Skateboardy McShine. Uh, let's just take a quick look at this. I believe it's basically like the original but smaller. Uh, yep, see that's definitely downsized in comparison to the Masterpiece one. Uh, but uh, they've come a long way because I didn't like 
when they did the Optimal Optimus. That, that was awful. As far as toys go, their Optimal Optimus was very, very fragile and just didn't really work. But they've come a long way. They're getting a good name for themselves. The bootlegs aren't just bootlegs now. They're kind of re-engineered, reworked, reimagined. And they really do work. They're becoming really worth the money. Looking forward to reviewing that as well. And uh, we're down to the last item now. Last but by no means least. It's vengeance. <laughs> It is, of course, Dark Knight, which is the Black Mamba's version of the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. Now, I've already reviewed that, but this is done in the Gorgeous Nemesis colours. Oh. <laughs> I do love myself a Scourge or Nemesis Prime. I think we are at the bottom. That is all we have for this evening. Some really amazing pieces there. I'm running out of time. I've got to put the kids to bed. It's late in the evening. He's stopped singing, so he's probably ready for me to come up now. And of course, I will include a link to everything in the description below. Thank you all again for taking the time out of your busy lives to check out my unboxings. And thank you, Paul at Sir Toys, for making these unboxings possible. Until next time, for myself and the rest of this collectibles household, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>